Hello and welcome. Week four, Monday night post game show presented by Burns Tires. New host tonight. I'm Ryan. This is Matt. That's Ben. That's Alice. Uh, games tonight. What do you guys think? I personally, I thought they could have been better. A uh, couple, couple blowouts, but uh, we'll just we'll just go dive right in. Avengers played the Renegades. Serial Serial Killers played Light It Up. Goon Squad played Sports Look, and the rookies played White Magic. So uh, let's just let's just have at it. Avengers and Renegades, that was the game I watched. Uh, honestly, absolutely dominating performance by the Renegades. Uh, they really took it to him. Ty Reed had a monster performance. 29 points, 65% shooting, 18 rebounds. He had, I'd say, five dunks in transition where he either spun in the air or threw it off the backboard. He absolutely dominated the game, totally uh, led them to their first win, and they really improved shooting the three ball as well. Uh, what do you guys think? Yeah, it was a really disappointing performance by the Avengers. They're known as obviously being a very good three-point uh, shooting team. I think they were like above 50% on the year from the floor. So Zach Shapiro had like 12 points. Uh, he was third in the league for scoring. So, um, you know, he, he w didn't really do the job that he needed to do to lift his uh, team to victory. Mm -hmm. So We yeah. knew with Zach Shapiro, if he wasn't going to have a big night, then the Avengers were going to struggle. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you can blame us for Yeah, that. you guys talked about it in the pregame. You thought the Avengers were going to win, they ended up losing by 50. Just want to rub it in a little bit that I picked that game. Right. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, but, yeah, getting back to what you said about Shapiro, he shot 33% after coming into the game shooting 59. Right. So not going to do it. It's a big, big change. Mm -hmm. So, uh, next game, Serial Killers and Light It Up on court two. What do you guys think of that one? I watched the Serial Killers game, and you could tell from the first quarter that the Serial Killers were going to win. They dominated this entire game. Mm -hmm. When it was their precision from the three-point line, mm -hmm. their backcourt pressing, their dunks. They just overall played much better than Light It Up. Mm -hmm. Ty Coward with 40 points and Davis with 19 points. Davis killing it from the three-point line. Mm -hmm. You know Dave, when Ty has 40, it's a blowout. <laughs> <laughs> to add on to Mike Davis' 19, he also had 10 assists and he also had, I believe, nine rebounds and a couple steals. More than a couple steals, maybe like seven. Closing so, in on that quadruple-double that it really, came patented. Really, really strong performance for him <laughs> I think we could have expected around. that game, though. I mean, yeah. didn't we all predict two killers to yes, win? Yes, we did. Speaking of blowouts, shockingly, in in my opinion, I hope it's in yours, Goon Squad got destroyed by Sports Look. Mm. Sports Look really needed the win. They were 0-2 coming in. Goon Squad just came out flat once again after Joey's team, Run TMC, smacked them around the, the last week. You'd think they would have responded well, but they didn't. Uh, what you guys take away from yeah, that? Yeah, I watched that Sports Look game, and they went up 15-3 early, and it was kind of it kind of seemed like you know they were never going to give that lead back mm -hmm. up. Um, yeah, they won 82-51. to um, Holmes finished with 20 points and 6 rebounds. Talked him after the game, and it was um, it's a great, great effort. It was his first game, so it's, it's going to be good to see him and um, Scott Benzing play together. Uh, Scott Benzing also complimented him well with uh, 18 uh, points, and the team shot an impressive 55%. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, Benzing Scott. Wow. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> Benzing shot 80% from the field after his week one performance where he shot 100%. Yeah. Last week he kind of – uh, went back to earth, he shot around 50, but he's getting back on track to his high percentage shots. Mm -hmm. And last game of the night, we had, excuse me, the rookies play White Magic, where we all thought it'd kind of be a snoozer, and I glanced over a couple of times, and it, it looked like a snoozer. Yeah, we knew coming in that the rookies and White Magic both winless teams, both of them looking for their first win. White Magic just didn't have enough going. They, were, uh, they got out to a slow start. Also, the rookies just dominate Eric Singleton. I hadn't seen him play before. He's going to be someone to look out for. He had 13 points. Um, but, yeah, you know, the, the uh, rookies came out from the get-go, from the jump, ready to go, ready to play, pushing the ball. and Looked like a team desperate for a win. Yeah, through. White Magic didn't have a chance. They pulled it. They came back towards uh, halftime, but were never able to mm -hmm. regain. Those it. two teams were at the bottom of the power rankings this week, and I expect them to stay there. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. Uh, highlights will be up on Snap at Legacy underscore Leagues and Legacy underscore Leagues Two for Court Two. You can look at Facebook for the post game interviews, and the recaps will be up Tuesday morning on the website. Thank you.